What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into my good sis, So Real Tea, Crystal Backdoor, Regine, Boo responds, Amar and Maya explain it all, Kiana J and friends. I don't know, it's a lot. Let's get it. Let's get into the video. Fans are not here for Crystal and Nooney link up. A fan commented and stated, this is exactly what y'all MFers do when an MFer cuts y'all off. Y'all go and kick it with the same we used to talk about. Now you guys know Crystal responded. Crystal responded and she stated, I never spoke about any characteristics when it came to our relationship. I only spoke about our friendship. And she stated, she's a, and she's such a real ass that she forgave her friend and vice versa. She played her part just like anyone else. I don't really think crystal's back door for this one because she had made it very clear numerous times that she would be friends with nuni and tony again they didn't have any bad blood things just did not end well since i ain't gonna lie y'all after your um well i can only speak for me you get to a certain point where you realize that whole friend thing like you finally get you finally rock with the people you supposed to rock with so I can't wait till they friends and twenties is over because it's just a it's a lot for no reason. Like if I wanted to be back friends with somebody, I can leave me alone. Since her and <laughs> Karina had stopped talking and her and Nooney got back together, maybe the way it happened was a little backdoor. But I don't think that you getting back cool with someone that you once was friends with that you know your ex friend you know they both were dealing with the same guy i don't think there's no way of making that situation any better than it already was like but you guys comment down below and let us know how do you feel about this let's get into regina carter and her new boo g5 it seems like his ex moon cosmetics has dropped a tiktok video throwing some shade a lot of people seem to believe she was speaking about g5 because they got out of a relationship about two years ago this is what she had to say and guys i'm not sure if she's talking don't worry i ain't afraid to spill it so apparently the weed man got a baby mama in miami he alleged set his ex up to be robbed people know him for real and said he would let his ex spoil him all the time him because i'm pretty sure she dealt with other people I hate so maybe too. that's what she's referring to lie. I'm not too sure. A lot of people in the comments were saying she was speaking about G5 and that he was using her the whole relationship. But when I went to Moon's YouTube channel, a few of her videos, she stated that he bought her Christmas gifts. He bought her Chanel bags. He took her on trips and they had fun. So I'm not sure who she's referring to. But a lot of people are saying that G5 was not, you know, doing anything for her. He wasn't really providing for her the way she wanted him to. So I'm not sure. But you guys comment down below and let us know what you think. Not a nice show. It's good to brown home. Oh. Wait. How are you booty? Babe. Oh. <laughs> I <can't wear> <laughs> We're about to go to the design district. And oh, my God. That's how he talk. I had to, I, I've been wondering, you know, after I seen him, I was like, oh, all right. You know, you got to get his personality. I didn't know he talked like that. Bow and reach people fashion. But it don't matter. It's not that deep. Things that I don't know anything about. This gonna be our first time both going to the fashion the fashion district, right? You never been? I ain't never been. I so the fashion district is kind of like the Rodeo, Miami. It has like the Chanel Bottega, like the Louis Vuitton and stuff, and it has a nice Louis Vuitton flagship store. That's what I'm really excited to see. But let me show you guys. Can we? Okay, so we're not gonna watch this. Sis feel away about um, men using her, basically. And she just feels as though that her man should make more money than her. And she feels as though if you're going to mess with her, you don't need to be underpaid. Okay. All right. To skill and is dating. Please let me know. Please, please, please let me know. Let her know. It's so funny to me when influencers go on social media and talk about one another and then the other person, you know, posts a status or a picture or something, you know, like showing that they don't really give a F. G5 took to Instagram and he posted a picture with him sticking a middle finger up and it just gave like, you know, now we're not saying he's talking about her, but guys, how ironic is all of this? Like, it's just crazy to me. Even Regine took to Instagram and she shared a post that says, I pray for everyone's heart right now. It's so much going on. Feed your soul with good energy today. Have a great day and start it off with a prayer. 
amen to that. Hallelujah. Because it is a lot going on right now. Yes, Both it is. Both Regine and G5 do seem to be out enjoying themselves and enjoying no, he each trying other's to be time. With and that's Nae all Nae. that matters. Well, I'm not going to lie. Um... Neither one of them posted each other. It was actually um, Regine's aunt, if I'm not mistaken. It wasn't them two, so somebody just got caught slipping. It doesn't really matter, you know, what happened in the past. Because I think, if this person... Is I think Regine was trying to hide it. ...is fulfilling you and the things that you want now. That is all that matters. So I do hope that none of this you know causes or changes anything between the two of them and i hope that they can just keep moving forward if it is worth moving forward guys but you comment down below and let us know what you think kiana j had a birthday dinner for her birthday and all of her friends popped out they looked so cute and i just love to see it that everyone just come and get together and celebrate one person without any drama even if they don't even know each other so oh happy God, birthday to kiana over. and i hope you enjoyed god bless Let's get into Amar and Maya. Amar and Maya dropped a video on Amar's channel where they, they answered a few questions regarding the relationship and what happened. They did state that they are actually broken up right now, but they are still talking and trying to fix things. A supporter did ask, why do they throw shade at each other on Twitter? This was their response. You guys comment down below and let me know what you think. I don't like the fact that Amar keep laughing at the whole cheating situation like i get that you guys are moving on from it but it's definitely not funny like you can see that it actually genuinely hurt her and she's taking the time to heal while still loving the person that she loves you know what i mean i see nothing wrong with that but the fact that he think it's funny and he and can't stop laughing like don't get me wrong i'm pretty sure he's you know took accountability for his actions and it might you know, be that is why they're able to work things out you guys go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you think why did we break up because i cheated just come in because i cheated <laughs> why would you just have a, a big smile on your face about that bro you want, you want me to explain yeah what happened maya went through my phone uh and saw that uh <laughs> you want me to say it mm -hmm. i mean she went through my phone and pretty much saw that uh, I was, uh, you know, doing stuff with another girl. And, you know, we went from there. So. Well, yeah, I would have been hot. And I'm looking at the time. So I'm like, wait, what was I doing this day? What was I doing? I'm out. I'm out with Indy on her birthday. And I see a text me. She's talking about some here I come. I'm like, to my stomach, I ain't going to lie to you. It was the same girl. I don't know what it was about, but. It wasn't nothing about it. Cap. Literally. It had to be if you were talking to her for two years. I wasn't talking you to was her. You was into you was into relationships. I was not into relationships. Mm -hmm. I never did for her. I didn't love her. Never said I loved her. She was just a fuck. Yeah, I see my stuff going on in this world if you're doing stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it is true. That is true. So, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully he learned and hopefully y'all y'all doing it like that. Yeah, y'all learn from my, my mistakes, you know what I'm saying? It was a big mistake. <laughs> Alright, next question. Why did you move out the crib? With a mark. Oh, wait, pretty much, bro. That's the, it's that's the, same, it's the same situation. Like, all that happened in that. that on that anniversary. That time being. On that anniversary, is my thing. So, look, all that pretty much went down the same exact timing and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> um. So, y'all did all this for clout or something? What? I guess all this. They think this, this is for fake. Like, no, but my, my feelings are hurt in real life, love. Like, nothing was fake about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how you can... Her feelings hurt, like he that. still laughed. Basically, y'all was never apart, you know? We were still communicating, still yeah. talking, and everything like that. Well, you answer. I feel like... Well, I'm not gonna say I feel like... But... Okay, so... Before that situation happened, me and Omar had already... Girl, she made me want some wings, stop. I couldn't even eat that shit. Like, broke up on some stuff but it was just like you know how you with somebody y'all say y'all single it's just like nigga you know you're not single like so don't go doing stuff behind my back on some stuff like that because he already know that if i if he was to find out about me doing half the stuff he didn't already did he would go eight he would go eight for sure but like we had already reached again we had already went to college so basically y'all never apart we had already broke up but i was just like back at home and stuff and then once valentine's day was coming up and stuff i was just like 
um, well, before that, I was already talking to my friends and stuff, and I was like, I'm just gonna get back with my man. I don't, I don't want to be out here seeing you and stuff like that. Like this, going like be with my friends twenty four seven. You see the settling part that I was talking about. I, I think a lot of women do that, and I, I don't think it, it just has everything to do with, like, well, well she kind of just proved my point. But, yeah, women get bored, and they don't want to go out here and be hoes. And it's really too dangerous to go out here and be a hoe. However, if he in the house being a hoe, yeah, you out, you, you, if your man is cheating on you and, and disrespectfully, and when I say disrespectfully, as in having sex with a woman with no condom, no nothing, you already in the streets. You don't even know it. On the phone with my friends. It's crazy. Then, I didn't have nobody to talk to. Like, I don't know. So I was still kind of communicating with him and stuff. Then I had called him. And I was like, I want to get back together. And then that's when I ended up going over there for Valentine's Day. And that's crazy. It's like God had hit me upside my head. It was like, chill, for real. He got ready. So, yeah. Somebody said, what, 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 WTF? Did you do to her to make her sub and leave for weeks? I don't know what that's like. That's kind of already been answered, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I just really have to, y'all. Yeah. Okay, finish Do y'all see y'all stuff getting back to what it was? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, y'all. He gonna he got a lot, a lot, a lot. He did a lot of damage, so he got a lot of work to do. When they first broke <laughs> up, didn't she cheat on him first? I thought, uh, well, it was something where I think she said that, uh, or he said that she was talking to some other dude too, like texting some other dude, if I'm not mistaken, right? Or was that another girl? Man, y'all heard it. Then he, uh, my thing, he, he shows, he'll be on my phone, like kind of showing the remorse and stuff. But um, I'd be like, bro, how am I in this house crying and stuff? And he outside having a ball, y'all. I tell y'all, them niggas don't care. They had me in a friend for that whole time. He was out for that whole week. I couldn't sleep. I just kept on waking up in the middle of the night. I'm like, oh my gosh, what he doing? Every time I call him, he'll be, what, bro? Nah, bro, I want like the difference. Bro, mine is a type of shit. Nah, bro, bro, she will get to the irritating stage. But it was only irritating like, because you was trying to get in your groove and do you. That's I wasn't why. trying to get in my groove and do me. I was but still trying to sit there and hold a conversation with y'all, you. Y'all, this, this, this was two weeks ago. So, <laughs> yeah. I just had, now I'm just in a, in a like, Position where um, I wish things could change, but I can't. You know, y'all know, can't change nobody. Don't want, they don't want to be changed, or I don't know. He just have to be willing to change if he. Girl, you know. he about the, he probably cheated on her again yesterday. Okay, and I don't know that for a fact. I'm just you know speaking, but y'all stop being surprised. <laughs> I just I. I think all of them cheat. Um, you know, that could be my ignorance, but I think they all cheat. If he really want to get back together, like, that's something he going to have to do. Somebody said, no question. Just keep doing y'all at the end day. Y'all know what's good between y'all. Yeah, we do. Like, this is the main main question on why, I, like, y'all ask him sometimes. He definitely can't help it. And he got her ass back. And, you know, <laughs> y'all think it's going to go back to the same. He said, I do. Like, he, he confident in it, too. That make it even worse. The break up was necessary. <laughs> he, wait. I mean, from what I did, yo. You're you I, I, like I didn't want it to happen, though. You sound like a man. Because, I mean, shit, switch around another. <clears throat> yeah, that, I was going to say that. When you were thinking, I was going to say, put the shit on the other foot. And yep. don't think about it like that. <laughs> yeah, I would have broke up with you. Oh, I would have still been talking. Maybe I know you would not be talking to me at all. You would not be talking to me, y'all. Y'all would never see this video on my channel if I did the hair. <laughs> the hair. Not the whole, the hair. They said, what does that MV tattoo in your ear stands for? Okay, so damn well, uh, I've never said nothing about that, actually. Even when I had that tattoo session when we was at the F... Was, no, it, was it here? You was here. Yeah, we was here uh, with my guy FGF Inks. Um, I didn't show it, but I sent the whole video to my... Yeah, bro, this, it stands for my initials, y'all. <laughs> It's in my damn Maya B. So, and that, we wasn't even together. See what I'm saying? So, yeah, he, I don't know why he thinks that means his thing. This nigga was walking around with Maya B. His baby. He love her. He just can't help it. On his arm and was still having a ball. <laughs> okay. He was still having a ball. Okay. okay. 
I'm gonna go smoke a million stuff on that. They said, why do y'all constantly throw subs at each other on Twitter? Oh, okay. Uh, that's honestly. Okay, let me tell y'all one thing first thing right here. Don't ever take no tweets like as if y'all just know something. Me and Ryan have always been on some little back and forth of Twitter. It's crazy that people say that now, but we have always been on Twitter. Like, we've been on Twitter. Y'all just know Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. You do be doing subs. I do throw subs. I do. The fuck? I ain't talking about nobody else. And, and I, I be speaking the words to my people on Twitter. Some of this stuff don't even be about my like literally some of this stuff be lyrics, but nine times out of ten when I'm when I'm we frustrating with each other, I'm gonna say what I say. But, but he just said don't don't look at the tweets and think y'all know some. And then they get mad when T Room put out a video. It's crazy. I, don't ever take it to heart, because I'm still we still texting each other right behind the tweets. So That's even worse. Yeah. <laughs> they crazy as hell. Shit, yeah. I don't know what the hell you got going on. They already said something about it on the, the other page. Oh, yeah. on the T thing. Uh, yeah, so y'all want to know what I'm going to school for. I'm going to school for. Grab like a drum brother. Oh, I thought you was. <laughs> I, I, thought you was I thought you was trying to do it like how they be doing it. I wasn't. I was trying to do a drum No, I'm saying like with medicine. Oh, no, 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 no. That was yeah, your number one. They put the stuff, they put the thing. Man, tell them what you're about to do, man. Okay. You heard? I'm going to do it like that. Because I really didn't want to tell anybody. If you don't want to, don't say it then. And you, now everybody don't got to know everything. Okay, now I'm doing too much. I'm like, it ain't even this. Texting yeah, each, yeah, other, yeah. each other, tweeting about each other at the same time as well. Where are you going to tell them, bro? Performance is ignition. Oh, shit. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Yeah, um, man, 20s, dudes, a lot of money. They cheating. The end. That's all I got. Bye. <laughs>